Hi everybody, Father Bill here. It is time for the Friday Reflection. And I just got back from the Priest Convocation. It's a time every year around the first week of October that all priests get together with the Archbishop and then we have a time for some spiritual reflection and sometimes some work. This time, and last several times, it's been specifically on spiritual reflections for us and information for us priests. And we had a, a priest named Father Timothy Gallagher come speak with us and he taught us more about, and for me it was completely new, about Ignatian spirituality. Saint Ignatius, you know, the founder of the Jesuits, and how to discern, discern times uh, where we are having uh, positive times, we call it consolation, and times when things are going poorly or difficult, and those are times where we call it desolation, and how to deal with those. This is for everybody, but specifically, it was focused on us priests and the life of priests, but those are cycles and times for all of us that we have in our spiritual life, as well as our, our non-spiritual life, which is just the everyday workings of things. Um, so that was wonderful, but I thought, because this weekend we have readings that are kind of focused on Thanksgiving, and that's going to be my focus on the homily, I thought what a great opportunity to ask some of our priests what they're thankful for. So right at the end of the last Mass of the Convocation, this will be this morning, so I'm recording on Thursday, uh, I went around to various priests, just kind of grabbing them, and I had a couple surprises in there. You may know some people, and uh, maybe somebody that uh, is our leader, possibly a bishop and uh, or two, uh, to respond to this. What is it that you are thankful for? So I'm just going to leave it here and uh, these are short little clips from each of the priests. Again, there's just a, just a few of them that I was able to get a hold, get a hold of and uh, I think it's important that we hear from them and what brings them joy. I know for me, uh, before we begin it, I am just really thankful for being at Holy Trinity. Uh, the transition has been very smooth. I am so thankful for Father Dave's work to kind of prepare everybody and me as well and uh, the crack staff that he's got, the wonderful people in the parish staff and the school staff uh, doing such an amazing job. And I just kind of, I feel like I'm fitting in pretty well. I, I, uh, I'm so grateful for the support of all of you. Um, it's making kind of, it's probably the smoothest transition to a parish that I've had in my priesthood. So thank you all for that. In the meantime, here's some, uh, some shots or some video shots or clips from some of our priests of the diocese. Okay, we are here now with... Father Hans. We know I him. I think most of you know me. <laughs> Father Bill just asked me to share a couple things that I'm thankful for. One of which is St. Juan Diego Parish. I got sent to a wonderful parish with wonderful people and wonderful staff and just, it's a wonderful place to be. Um, another thing I'm thankful for is Brother Priest. Uh, we're here at Convocation and I'm about to drive back and I'm driving back with Father Randy Huang, who's the new parochial vicar down at St. Cecilia's. And he and I were in seminary together and it is wonderful to have him so close as well and then of course father bill i think many of you know i worked for him for a year as a as a youth minister his first year in grants pass was my last year down there doing youth ministry so just having wonderful brother priests really close who i get to spend time with is another thing i'm very thankful for it is amazing actually i think about it uh when father mike and i came up into the area now we know almost all the people in the back here right away we've had all kinds of different relationships and now it comes to pretty like a supercharged vicarious it is a fantastic vicarious <laughs> and i think i met everybody in the vicarious down south well that's right we're referring to the priests of course but uh, there's all the thank lay people Maria. and stuff so awesome yeah well thanks everybody Absolutely. thank you father Hans. yeah thank you okay and your name again i'm father joachim gracious and i am a parochial vicar at saint pius the tenth awesome so what are you thankful for i'm thankful for this beautiful ignition exercises that would help me to come more, more closer to the Lord. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. We'll see you around. We're neighbors. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. You're welcome. Well, this is Father Anthony. And it's been a wonderful convocation. Father Bill and my brother priests in the background. And uh, it's just been a joy. And one of the things uh, I'm so grateful for and thankful for is the gift of the priesthood, the grace that comes from it, and for the people of God that we serve. And just to be here with my brother priest who are on the same journey of faith and caring for the people of God interested to us to be here to share this moment of grace and to really bring a lot of consolation through our work, our retreat, and our gathering uh, is been a joy, and I'm very grateful for that. 
Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Father Stephen Kane. I'm uh, currently at St. Mary's in Eugene and St. Uh, Catherine of Siena in Veneta. And I'm really, I mean, after this convocation, I'm just, I'm thankful for all the camaraderie of the priests and the fellowship. And it's been a wonderful time. And I'm thankful for the presentations that we've had an incredible discussion of the sermon and what it looks like to kind of walk through good times and bad times as a priest and, and the, the presence of the Lord in our lives and that the reminder that the Lord is always near and, and he'll get us through any, any dark time. So it's, there's kind of a high that you come to after a convocation like this. And so- A consolation. Yeah, a consolation. Yeah, that just being with brother priests and, and uh, that's been such a joy. So I'm excited to, um, to go back and, and um, see what the Lord has in store. I miss having you as a parochial vicar yeah. at St. Anne's. We're both no longer at St. Anne's, but yeah. on our new journeys. Yeah. So that, that was another another blessing, being with uh, Father Bill for uh, a year and uh, being with him in Grants Pass. So. Well, that's mutual. Yeah. So onward and upward. forward. Yes. Uh, well, northward. Northward, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay, I'm with, you might know this gentleman. I'm Father Tony Galati, formerly of Holy Trinity and now of St. Charles. Excellent. Well, what are you thankful for? Well, I want to tell you, I am very thankful for the people of Holy Trinity Parish who helped form me as the priest that I've become and um, who I pray for every day, twice a day. And so that's what I'm thankful for. Awesome. Thank you. Well, you know, behind us, we have another priest. He's a saint. Come over here, Father. What's your name? Carl Schrey. And you are located where? Myrtle Creek, Oregon. And we're just asking, I'm asking what you are thankful for. Well, praise the Lord. 57 years of priesthood and my family and uh, my parish families, all the parishes I've been at, and uh, Jesus Christ. Excellent. Okay, well, talk to you all later. God bless Bye. you all. And now we are with, you are? I'm on. Well, I'm asked to tell you why I'm thankful. First of all, the attitude of gratitude is something that somehow or another was planted in my heart. And I recognize that in my life as a young man, as a priest, as a bishop, I have been blessed with so many good people. It's one of the privileges of priesthood to meet these wonderful people, seeking their way on the journey of faith, and uh, just blessed and grateful for all these wonderful people in my life. Awesome. Beginning with birth, and birth as until an hopefully death. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, somebody we might know. Not vested properly, folks. We're all getting ready to leave convocation here and hit the road. Right, me too. I'm in my my sweatshirt here. So what are you thankful for, Archbishop? You know, after an experience like this, Father Bill, and I'm not just saying this because there's one of my priests standing here right in front of me. Okay. I could not be more grateful for the wonderful, wonderful priests of this archdiocese in Western Oregon and how God has blessed the people of Western Oregon with these wonderful pastors and shepherd and quite honestly as wonderful as I consider priest sons, spiritual sons to me. And when I come away from a time like this, I'm just very grateful to God for, for all of you. Well, it's been a wonderful time to kind of get away from some things and just relax, but also uh, here's more about the, well, and it's all new to me because I didn't am really study anything about St. Ignatius. Yeah, well, so, I didn't either until the last three years so yeah so it's all wonderfully new to me so. wonderful let's put it into practice excellent well thank you for your time all right father bill thank god you. and god bless all of you amen bye-bye